गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल एज वेल एज विजिबल टू ऑल गाइज आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल एज वेल एज विजिबल टू ऑल I hope I'm audible as well as visible to all. Please quickly comment in the comment section if everything is fine, and if you all are ready to start with the session, just give me yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, so that we can start. So guys, uh, from this week onwards, I will be covering your uh, entire week current events with the help of the MCQ session on the weekends. That is on Saturday. Along with that, along with that, I will be coming up with. a new show you can say a new session you can say a new informative session could be a better word i will be coming up with a session on regular basis in which i will be discussing the most important topic or the burning issue of the day for example i have talked about ipl i have talked about nasa mars <coughs> mission or nasa rover on mars so these kind of news will be discussed now from monday onwards that is from tomorrow onwards on regular basis on daily basis that will be a very short video of somewhat around uh, 25 to 30 minutes in which i will be covering the very important uh, news or i will be covering that very important topic so that you can answer all the questions in your upcoming examination okay so <clears throat> if you are facing any issue just rejoin the class guys just rejoin the class so that so that you can answer all the uh, so that you can see the session clearly just rejoin it just refresh it so that everything is fine so that everything is fit and fine chalo so without any further delay let's quickly discuss the session i hope you all are joining me on regular basis at 9 am on regular basis at 9 am in the daily current affairs session and this session is live on the grade up application so i cover the daily current affairs session <clears throat> daily current affairs session is covered daily current affairs session is covered on the grid of application at 9 am on the grid of application at 9 am and you can cover your daily current affairs from that top, from that particular session and on saturdays <clears throat> i will be coming up with the weekly session which will be live on youtube as well as application from next week onwards today i came on sunday the reason behind was uh, yesterday there was an exam analysis going on and that is why i have not uh, scheduled that particular session so i will be joining you all from next saturday on youtube and i will be covering the entire week news in english language so that if you are not comfortable in hindi you can cover the entire so you can cover this particular session you can cover this particular session from there as well okay so you can cover your weekly current affairs on saturdays and you can cover your daily current affairs on the grid up application regularly at 9 am so without any further delay let's start with the session let's start the session with a thought and the thought is if you want something you never had you have to do something you never did it's quite obvious so if you want to achieve something which you have never done which you have never done if you want to achieve something which you have never had then it's quite obvious you have to work hard or harder in order to achieve that particular in order to achieve that particular uh, i would say in order to achieve that particular goal so whenever you set a goal and you want to achieve it uh, you want to achieve something which you never had then you have to do what you never did that means you have to come out of your that means you have to come out of your comfort zone in order to in order to <clears throat> achieve what you never had okay uh, this session will be in hindi uh, this session will be in english this session will be in english it is very clearly mentioned uh, uh, in the title itself because in hindi we have already conducted the weekly session in the morning and now i will be taking this session in english so it is very clearly uh, written on the screen that this session will be in english because in hindi the weekly session is already done on youtube itself okay chal let's start with the session without any further delay and the first question <clears throat> vp joy vp joy is appointed as chief secretary of which state vp joy is appointed as chief secretary of which state what will be the answer what will be the answer 
So VP Joy was recently appointed as the Chief Secretary of which state? Then the answer will be, sir, he was appointed as the Chief Secretary of Kerala. He was appointed as the Chief Secretary of Kerala. If we talk about this particular news, sir, he has replaced whom? Sir, he has replaced Vishwas Mehta. And who is the Chief Minister of Kerala? Then P. Vijayan is the Chief Minister of Kerala. Who is the Governor? Arif Muhammad Khan is the Governor. First thing. Second, we have Satishwar Balakrishnan. Satishwar Balakrishnan is appointed as Managing Director and CEO of Eigen Life Insurance. And recently, a uh, <clears throat> couple of weeks ago, there was a news that Flipkart, Eigen Life Insurance has tied up with, has tied up with Flipkart has tied up with Flipkart to offer life insurance policies to offer life insurance policy to the public to offer life insurance policy to the public headquarter of Eigen Life Insurance is in Mumbai headquarter of Eigen Life Insurance is in Mumbai is it clear? Chal. next question the next question is who among the following who among the following virtually inaugurated more than 50,000 water structures in Madhya Pradesh under Jala Vishikam under Jala, under Jala Bishekham campaign. So under Jala, Bikesh, uh, Jala Bishekham campaign, 50,000 water structures were launched in Madhya Pradesh by Rajnath Singh. That is, <coughs> that is Defense Minister of the country. So remember that Union Defense Minister launched this 57,000 water structures in Madhya Pradesh and they will be built on the cost of 2000 crore rupees. What is the name of the campaign? Jala Bishekham is the name of the campaign. Next question. So which organization to provide $400 million funds to Greater Male Connectivity Project of Maldives? $400 million were provided to the state UP, to the UP state of the uh, of country India uh, in order to enhance their, in order to enhance their power supply or power distribution system by which bank? So which international organization announced $400 million of loan with which country RBI has signed with which country RBI has signed currency swap agreement currency swap agreement of $400 million what will be the answers guys? So the answer for this particular question is Exim Bank, RBI currency swap agreement $400 million Sri Lanka, UP <coughs> received $400 million loan from Asian Development Bank. Clear guys? Next question. Before moving ahead, remember Export and Import Bank of India will provide financial assistance to the capital city of Maldives and the name is Malik. What is the amount? That is $400 million. The announcement was made by Reserve Bank of India. The loan will be given in the form of line of credit. In the form of line of credit. If we talk about this Greater Male Connectivity Project, it's a 6.7 kilometers civilian infrastructure project. The project will offer connectivity of Male with the neighboring islands and $400 million loan is given. Headquarter of Exim is Mumbai and the CEO of Exim Bank is David Rasquina. David Rasquina. Very good. Next question, guys. <clears throat> Next question is skill development. Skill development minister has uh, skill development minister has Mahatma Gandhi National Fellowship Program has launched Mahatma Gandhi National Fellowship Program to strengthen the skills training at the district level. So this program has been launched under the skill development Sankal program. Sankalp is assisted by which financial body? Sankalp is assisted by which financial body? What will be your answer guys? May I have your answers please quickly? I want everyone to reply. Then the answer for this particular question is So the answer for this particular question is It's absolutely correct. It's World Bank. So World Bank is the organization, is the international organization which has funded Sankalp. What is this Sankalp? It is Skills Acquisition and Knowledge Awareness for livelihood promotion. The ministry has partnered with nine IMs across the country that is Indian Institute of Management. Next question. Who has been appointed as the new Prime Minister of Italy? I can give you a hint. He was the former Chief of he was the former Chief of European Central Bank. Then the question is so who is the current 
चीफ ऑफ यूरोपियन सेंट्रल बैंक दी आंसर इज क्रिस्टीन लेगार्ड क्रिस्टीन लेगार्ड एंड शी वॉज द फॉर्मर डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ आई एम एफ सो करंट डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ आई एम एफ एस क्रिस्टीलिना जियॉर्जीवे क्रिस्टलिना जियॉर्जीवे सो रिमेंबर दैट मारियो ड्रागी मारियो ड्रागी इज द Uh, was the former chief of European Central Bank who has who was replaced by Christine Lagarde, world's uh, Christine Lagarde, world's one of the powerful, one of the most powerful women of the world, and she has replaced Mario Draghi, and now Mario Draghi is appointed as the Prime Minister of Italy. He is appointed as the Prime Minister of Italy. Remember that the headquarter of ECB is in Germany. To be very precise, its headquarter is in Frankfurt, Germany. Its headquarter is in Frankfurt, Germany. Okay. Next question. So, a COVID warrior memorial to recognize the selfless service and sacrifices of COVID warriors is planned to be set up in which city? So, in which city India is going to set up COVID warrior memorial to recognize the selfless services and sacrifices? of covid warriors what will be the answers the answer is absolutely correct bhuvneshwar bhuvneshwar was in news because first city to get the iso certification first city to get the iso certification second is a uh, fire park is set up in bhuvneshwar that's also important so state government of odisha has planned to construct the covid warrior memorial in bhuvneshwar and this covid memorial warrior memorial would be set up at the biju nayak biju patnayak park bhuvneshwar biju patnayak park bhuvneshwar next memorial titled unfinished is written by which indian celebrity so which indian celebrity has written a book named unfinished and this book is written by whom this book is written by <clears throat> bollywood actress bollywood and hollywood actress the name is the name is priyanka chopra the name is priyanka chopra so priyanka chopra is the writer of this particular book and the name is unfinished so priyanka chopra jones is the full name next question which state signed mou with united nation environment program to ha to have climate resilience and low carbon development so for the climate resilience and low carbon development recently which state has tied up with unep which state has tied up with unep then what will be the answer then what will be the answer for this particular question so the answer for this particular question is absolutely correct it's bihar absolutely correct it's bihar so bihar is the state which has tied up with unep that stands for united nation environment program <clears throat> with its headquarter in nairobi kenya the mou is signed up till 2040 in order to assess bihar to fight against this climate resilience issues as well as uh, help bihar to develop the low carbon emissions or in order to achieve the pollution or in order to overcome the pollution in the state clear next question who is appointed as the chief justice of manipur court who is appointed as the chief justice of manipur court what will be the answer who is appointed as the chief justice of manipur court guys what will be your answer what will be your answer okay the answer for this particular question is absolutely correct it's pv sanjay kumar pv sanjay kumar <coughs> pv sanjay kumar is appointed as the chief justice of manipur high court Mario Draghi is appointed as the Prime Minister of Italy. Mark Mark Listosela is appointed as the CEO and Managing Director of Tata Motors. He replaced Gwenter Buschek. Then we have Karim Khan. He is appointed as the Chief Prosecutor of International Criminal Court. International Criminal Court with its headquarter with its uh, International Criminal Court with its headquarter at the hague netherlands the hague netherlands so this is for international cricket council i'm sorry for that so 
<clears throat> if we talk about international criminal court then the answer is its headquarter is the hague netherlands then we have rashmi we have rashmi samant she is the first indian woman to be appointed as the president of oxford student oxford students union rana dugapati he is appointed as the brand ambassador of seat so rana dugapati is a bollywood actor along with amir khan along with amir khan he is appointed as a brand ambassador of seat tires next question guys recently the ministry of finance government of india has announced to infuse what amount into the state owned general insurance companies in the current quarter and this infusion will be done in the uh, state owned general insurance companies and what will be the amount of infusion so the amount of infusion will be the amount of infusion will be 3000 crore rupees the amount of infusion will be 3000 crore rupees 3000 crore rupees so the ministry of finance has announced that we will be infusing 3000 crore rupees in the state owned government insurance companies which include uh, national insurance company limited united india insurance company limited oriental insurance company limited uh, give me the names give me the names <clears throat> which will be privatized by government very soon so government of india announced the privatization of insurance companies could me could you name those companies could you name those companies along with that remember government is going to increase the authorized capital of national insurance company limited to 7500 crores united india insurance company limited and oriental insurance company limited to 5000 crore rupees <coughs> guys first point is sir so rather than using this word privatization you should use a word disinvestment government has announced to disinvest in lic but recently there was a news that government has uh, planning to disinvest in united india insurance as well as in general insurance company reinsurance as well so the disinvestment will be done in these companies as well that is the term so disinvestment should be the better word rather than privatization i was Uh, I have wanted you to correct me, but it's fine. I have given you the correct answer. No worries. Next question. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has laid the foundation stone of the Grand Anicut Canal system in which state? Prime Minister Narendra Modi has laid the foundation stone of Grand Anicut Canal system in which state? Then the answer for this particular question is that it is in Tamil Nadu. this particular grand anicut canal system it is in tamil nadu so pm modi led the foundation stone for the modernization of 636 km long canal system which will help improve the irrigation facilities for 2.27 lakh acres along with that remember prime minister inaugurated 9 meter long metro chennai metro rail phase 1 extension which is completed at a cost of 3770 crores The next is Kaveri Basin refinery to be set up in Nagapatnam, Nagapatnam, which will have a capacity of nine million metric tons, and this project is estimated to be three one double three one five double zero crore. So remember three projects. First one, <coughs> first one is modernization of the canal system. Second one is inauguration of the Chennai Metro extension, and the third one is inauguration or uh letting down the foundation stone for kaveri basin refinery which is going to be set up in nagapatnam with the investment of or the, with the outlay of 31500 crores 31500 crores clear guys is it clear next question pm narendra modi pm narendra modi recently decided uh, pm narendra modi recently decided sorry recently dedicated to the nation the 6000 crore propylene derivative petrochemical project developed by bharat petroleum corporation limited in which state bharat petroleum corporation limited in which state what will be your answer <coughs> bharat petroleum corporation limited in which state what will be your answers so the answer for this particular question is the answer for this particular question is that it's kerala the answer is kerala so prime minister narendra modi visited kochi in kerala He inaugurated the propylene derivative petrochemical project developed by BPCL. 
headquarter of BPCL is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. It is one of the Maharatans of the country. And the investment for this particular derivative petrochemical project is 6,000 crore rupees. Next question. So which state or UT has launched zero COVID by Feb 28 campaign to ensure zero COVID cases by 28th Feb 2021? By 28th Feb 2021. Uh, this is the same state. Uh, this is the same uh, UT which has declared that it can be self-sufficient in terms of or self-dependent in terms of uh, solar energy. In terms of solar energy. Then Puducherry is the correct answer. And recently Puducherry uh, was with uh, President Ra Ra Rajnath Kovil. President Ramnath Kovil visited Puducherry. And he has inaugurated many new or he has inaugurated few new projects in Puducherry. Do go through with them. Do go through with those projects because that's important. Question can be asked. Okay. Now there was an <clears throat> one more point related to the same. So who is the governor of Puducherry? I'll say the lieutenant governor of Puducherry was was Kiran Bedi. But now Kiran Bedi has been removed by the president of the country and he has been replaced by the governor of he has been replaced by the governor of which state or which state has given which state has given the additional charge which state governor has given the additional charge of which state has given the extra, uh, additional charge to hold the left hand governorship of Puducherry? then what will be the answer so Telangana is the correct answer Telangana is the correct answer it's absolutely correct Telangana and if we talk about the if we talk about the name the name is T Sundarajan. T. Sundarajan is the new governor of Puducherry. How many female, how many female scientists have been awarded with the SERB, that is Science Engineering Research Women Excellence Award 2021? So in the field of science engineering, Women Excellence Award 2021 has been given to how many women? Then the answer will be. So this award has been given to four women. This award has been given to four women. Now the question is, so what are the names of these women? If we talk about the names, the first thing is, remember, uh, we have Shobhana Kapoor, we have Dr. Antara Benerji, we have Sonu Gandhi, and we have Dr. Ritu Gupta. We have Dr. Ritu Gupta. So these are the, uh, these are the four women who have received, these are the four women who have received this particular award in the category of Science and Engineering Research Board. Science and Engineering Research Board Women Excellence Award 2021. Next. Prime Minister Narendra Modi let down the foundation stone of Grand Anikat Canal system in which state? I'm sorry. Then the answer will be sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. The answer for this particular question is we have already done. What will be the answer for this particular question? So the answer for this particular question is Tamil Nadu. We have already done. Next we have, so starstruck, please, please, please pay attention on the screen. Starstruck confessions of a TV executive is a memoir of which media personality? Starstruck confessions of a TV executive is a memoir of which media personality? And then the answer is Peter Mukherjee. Peter Mukherjee is the one who has written this particular memoir and he was the former media, uh, former media representative and he wrote this particular book, Star Struck Con uh, Confessions of a TV Executive. Next, Mandu Festival is celebrated in which state of India? Mandu Festival was in news. <clears throat> Mandu Festival is in news. And the point is Mandu festival is celebrated in which state of India? What will be the answer? The answer for this particular question is a Mandu festival is celebrated every year in Madhya Pradesh. It is organized in Madhya Pradesh. And if we talk about Madhya Pradesh, where in Madhya Pradesh? Then in the Mandu town, which is a historic town in Dhar district of Madhya Pradesh. In Dhar district of Madhya Pradesh. Do remember. Next question. So what is the name of the outward forex remittance service 
rolled out by Kotak Mahindra Bank on its mobile banking application. So now with the help of mobile banking application, you can transfer or you can remit the funds outside the nation on the basis of LRS that is liberalized remittance scheme. And what is the name of that particular service? The name of that particular service is Kotak Remit. The name of that particular service is Kotak Remit is the correct answer. Kotak Remit will be the answer. I'm sorry for the answer. It should be C. Kotak Remit is the correct answer. Okay, now let's discuss this in detail. So Kotak Mahindra launched this Forex remittance service, Kotak Remit. This service will allow the customers to directly send money to their loved ones living abroad from their phones. So in this case, we can say in order to use the service, customer will not have to perform any physical documentation if you are transferring up to $15,000. But you can transfer maximum up to $250,000 in a financial year as per liberalized, as per liberalized remittance scheme which is going on in the country. So Kotec, can, Kotec Remit offers remittance in 15 currencies which can be done worldwide directly from the Kotec application. Next question guys, who among the following who among the following to head the committee set up by RBI to strengthen the urban cooperative banks to strengthen the urban cooperative bank sector what will be the answer? So urban cooperative bank priority sector limit has been increased if we talk about the priority sector lending, earlier 40% was the limit, but now it has been increased to 20-75%. And this limit will be increased in next four years. So by March 2024, the limit should be 75. It increases, it should be increased gradually, 45%, 50%, 60%. So by March 2022, by March 2022, it should be 45. By March 2021, sorry, it should be. Uh, 40, 45%, 2022, 50%, 2023, 60%, and by 2024, it should be 75%. Similarly, in case of small finance bank, the priority sector lending limit is is same, that is 75%. Remember these things, they are important. Along with that, remember, in case of urban cooperative bank, agriculture sector limit was earlier 8%, but now it has been increased to 10%. For weaker section, the limit was earlier. Uh, the, weaker, uh, uh, the limit was earlier 10%, but now it has been increased to 12%, which will be achieved by same year, that is 2024, under priority sector lending, under the priority sector lending procedure. So the answer for this particular question is former deputy governor of RBI, NS Vishwanathan, is appointed as the is appointed as the is appointed as the chairman of this particular committee, which comprises of eight members. So eight member committee will be headed by NS Vishwanathan, the former deputy governor of RBI, which will analyze, which will analyze the impact of measures over the last five years, which will help them to mark the uh, constraints and take the actions accordingly for the upcoming future. So they, this committee is basically set up for strengthening the urban cooperative banks in the country. Why there is a question of worry? The reason behind within last or uh, in last. Five to six months. In last five to six months, almost five to six cooperative bank license has been cancelled by RBI, and that is the reason it's a uh, topic of question or it's a topic of concern which should be discussed, which should be taken into consideration by RBI. Next question: In which state was the 11th Rashtriya Sanskrit Mahotsav inaugurated? In which state 11th Rashtriya Sanskriti Mahotsav was inaugurated? What will be the answer? What will be the answer? So it was inaugurated in West Bengal. Absolutely correct. So remember that 11th Rashtriya Sanskriti Mahotsav was inaugurated by the governor of West Bengal and the name is Jagdeep Dhankar. The Mahotsav was held at the Kuch Bihar Palace in West Bengal. Uh, if you talk about the Mahotsav, it's a flagship program of Ministry of Culture which was organized under Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat Initiative. Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat Initiative. Clear? Next, so which state hosted second international conference of gender equality? Second international conference of gender equality. What will be the answer? So second generation, second international conference on gender equality was hosted by which state? And the answer is it was hosted by Uttar Pradesh or Kerala. What will be your answer guys? 
it will be uttar pradesh or kerala then the answer is and again your answer is wrong i'm really very sorry for the wrong option the answer for this is kerala i have the entire detail for that so nothing to worry i'm not giving you the wrong answers i'm giving you the correct explanation but i'm sorry for that wrong option so the second edition of international conference of gender equality was held in kerala and during this event chief minister of the state was present at the gender park campus in koji in koji kode kerala in koji kode kerala just remember the theme the theme is gender in sustainable entrepreneurship and social business the mediating the mediating role of empowerment so gender sustainable empower gender in sustainable entrepreneurship and social business the mediating role of empowerment remember p vijayan is the chief minister and arif mohammed khan is the governor next which ministry launched payjal survekshan on a pilot basis in 10 cities this is very important in how many cities then the answer is 10 cities on jal jeevan mission urban 2.87 lakh crores 2.87 lakh crore rupees is being allocated in order to provide uh, in order to provide har ghar jal yojana in order to provide the tap connections in every house in the urban areas as well as in the 500 amrut cities liquid waste management should be management uh, liquid based uh, waste management techniques should be developed so this has been launched by ministry of housing and urban affairs ministry of housing and urban affairs do remember this 287000 crore rupees 10 indian cities that's very 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 important next so which of the following organization partnered to boost the digital financial transaction process for a small businesses for small businesses which of the following organization has partnered to boost the digital financial transaction process for small businesses recently there was a tie up of kfc that is kerala financial corporation with which with which company answer that question and this tie up which we are talking about it is with mastercard and razorpay razorpay was on the first rank in terms of <clears throat> in terms of financial technology startup growth rate so in terms of financial technology startup growth rate the uh, highest growth rate is witnessed in the razor pay and if we talk about the answer the answer is mastercard and razor pay mastercard and razor pay so do remember that mastercard and razor pay and remember the new head of remember the new head of mastercard is new head of mastercard is m meba m meba is the new head of mastercard do remember that. M Maybach is the new head of Mastercard with its headquarter in New York and headquarter of Razorpay is in Bangalore. Next question: West Bengal government allotted what amount of fund for Mass Scheme? For Mass Scheme, what amount of fund is allocated by West Bengal government? And this scheme is basically, and this scheme is basically launched to provide uh, affordable food to provide affordable food. or meal to the weaker section of the society affordable food or meal to the weaker section of the society to the weaker section of the society is it clear guys so what will be the answer kfc tied up with mastercard that's absolutely correct and the answer for this particular question is 100 crore rupees here poor people at the cost of 5 rupees they will be given subsidized cooked meal they will be given subsidized cooked meal for 5 rupees and government will pay a subsidy of 15 rupees per plate of a meal per plate of a meal so 15 is the subsidy and 5 rupees will be charged from the public okay cha next we have so which tech giant which tech giant signed mou with iit kanpur to work in cyber security sector to work in cyber security sector to work in cyber security sector then the answer for this particular question is iit kanpur tied up with hcl technologies hcl technologies and if we talk about shiv nader shiv nader is the former chairman of hcl technologies do remember the name that's also important who is the current manager the current head is roshni nader malhotra who is the um, daughter of shiv nader 
Remember that HCL has collaborated with IIT Kanpur. IIT Kanpur, IIT Kanpur incubated startup and the name is C3i Hub. C3i Hub tied up with HCL Technologies. Next question. So who among the following is appointed as the Chief Secretary of United Nations Capital Development Fund? Who among the following is appointed as the Executive Secretary of United Nations Capital Development Fund? Remember this. Guys, all the four options are important. If we talk about uh, Roberto Ezevedo, he is the former head of World Trade Organization. New head of World Trade Organization. What will be the answer? So the answer is Preeti Sinha. But who is Ajay Mathur? Guys, who is Ajay Mathur? Could you answer me for Ajay Mathur as well? Could you answer me for Ajay Mathur as well? What will be the answer for Ajay Mathur? Guys, what will be the answer for Ajay Mathur? I have given you answers for the three options. I am just looking after for Ajay Mathur. Ajay Mathur is appointed as the Director General of ISA. That is International Solar Alliance, Director General of ISA. Let's discuss. Ajay Mathur is appointed as the Director General of International Solar Alliance with its headquarter Haryana Gurugram. He replaced Upendra Tripathi. Priti Sena, she is appointed as the Executive Secretary of United Nations Capital Development Fund. Replaced Judith Kal. Then we have Nagozi, Nagozi, Okonzo, Ivela. She is appointed as the Director General of World Trade Organization, replaced Roberto Ezevedo, and the headquarter is Geneva, Switzerland. Guys, World Tourism Organization headquarter is in which city? Is in which city and country? Which city and country? According to World Tourism Organization, what is the percentage decrease in world travel? What is the percentage decrease in world tourism? What will be your answers? Spain, Madrid. Madrid is the city. That is the capital city. And Spain is the country. Absolutely correct. Um, Mintu Jaiswal. She is the first one to answer this question. And if we talk about the fall, the fall is 74%. And this year is declared as worst year. Worst year for tourism as per World Trade Organization. As per World Tourism Organization. Then we have Jean. Michael, she, uh, he is appointed as the Prime Minister of Congo. So, Prime Minister of Congo is Jean Mike Michael. And remember, the capital is Kinshasa and the currency is Congolese franc. So, remember that it is Democratic Republic of Congo. We have one more uh, republic, one, we, we have one more country with the name Congo, which is known as Republic of Congo. So, if we ask this question that who, uh, name the capital and currency name the capital and currency of republic of congo then what will be the answers so the capital and currency of republic of congo is brazzaville 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 and if we talk about the currency it's cfa franc it's cfa franc got it chal next in which state or UT Kenchoth festival was celebrated? Kenchoth festival is celebrated in which state or UT? This is basically a festival celebrated to uh, worship to worship snake, uh, which is uh, related to Lord Shiva. On this date, on this day, it is believed that Lord Shiva got married to Parvati ji, and they both was uh, thrown by or thrown into the uh, thrown into the or uh, they have settled down with their throne in uh, Kailash Parvat or in the Himachal or in the Himalayan mountains. So the answer for this particular question is that it is uh, celebrated in JNK. It is celebrated in JNK to be very precise Chinab Valley region of JNK. Chinab Valley region of JNK. Is it clear? Chal. Next we have, so name the government, 
named the government instant messaging system platform launched by the center on the lines of whatsapp so in order to give a competition as well as in order to assure the data privacy government of india has came up with a new application and the name of that new government instant messaging system is sandesh it is sandesh which was recently inaugurated and it was recently inaugurated by the ministry of information and ministry of electronics and information technology and this particular uh, application is launched under national informatics center national informatics center is it clear is it clear to this point next question kiran bedi has been removed as the lieutenant governor of puducherry who has been given the additional charge what will be the answer who has been given the additional charge what will be the answer guys maharashtra maharashtra governor is bhagat singh koshiyari telangana governor is uh, t sundarajan ganeshi lal is the governor of odisha if i am not wrong guys is the governor of odisha if i am not wrong and bishwabhushan harichandan is the governor of bishwabhushan is the governor of what will be your answer guys quickly give me the answer bishwabhushan harichandan is the governor of andhra pradesh is the governor of andhra pradesh and the answer will be t sondurajan t sondurajan is the correct answer bhagat singh koshiyari hold the is the governor of mumbai along with hyder along with goa along with goa don't worry i have answered that question guys uh today i have forgot because i am not i am no more in the uh, nature of taking the sessions on uh, youtube so guys please share the session if you have not yet shared with your friends and do like the session if you haven't liked the session yet so do like and share the session guys next question flipkart has partnered with insurance company to offer group safe card insurance policy to its customers so flipkart has partnered with which insurance company to offer group safe card insurance policy to its customers remember that bajaj aliens uh brand ambassador is ayushman khurana icici lombard will witness the merger of bharti exa bharti exa was in news because bharti exa has launched bahut zaruri hai campaign bahut zaruri hai campaign in karnataka and maharashtra to provide uh, crop insurance to the farmers of these two states so the answer for this particular question will be the answer for this particular question will be icici lombard the answer for this particular question will be icici lombard clear guys next question next question okay remember this so this particular uh, this particular group safeguard uh, if we talk about this particular insurance this is a hospital cash benefit insurance which will start from minimum 500 rupees per day as insurance claim indian sign language dictionary 2021 is which edition of the dictionary release uh, which edition of the dictionary released by the government uh, earlier the number of words were 6000 but now the new dictionary include 10000 words along with that answer this question world sign language day is observed every year on which date then the answer for this particular question is third edition first edition consists of 4000 words then 6000 words and finally 10000 words dictionary has been launched recently and the question is 23rd september is observed every year 23rd september is observed every year as world as world sign language day as world sign language day next question sir so, dharmendra pradhan represented india at 11th iea ief opec synops uh, synopism on energy outlook held virtually the symposium was held under the patronage of which country and guys we all know that that the price of crude oil as well as the price of uh, petrol and diesel is 
increasing at an alarming rate in the country the question is why so if you want to find the answer if you want to find the economy behind this or if you want to find the logic behind this do join me tomorrow do join me tomorrow at 1 pm do join me tomorrow at 1 pm in which i will be discussing what is the reason behind increase in petrol prices why the petrol prices are increasing so the answer for this particular question is saudi arabia is the correct answer india was represented by dharmendra pradhan india was represented by dharmendra pradhan do remember international energy agency headquarter paris france international energy forum riyadh saudi arabia is the headquarter uh, is the secretary of or headquarter of international energy forum international energy agency headquarter paris france and opec headquarter is in vienna austria which stands for organization of petroleum exporting countries and recently equator announced exit from the list of opec members from the list of opec members okay so how much amount how much amount of the pli scheme has been approved by the government for telecom equipment and networking product manufacturing recently pli stands for production linked initiative uh, incentives if you are doing good then the uh, then the incentives will be given by the government related to your production as you increase the production your incentives will increase and government has announced the incentive of 12195 crore rupees for telecom sector or for the telecom equipment and networking product manufacturing sector for the uh, for the uh, i could say for floating the scheme known as production linked incentive production linked incentive next question so if we talk about the production linked incentive so government of india has launched this production linked incentive now not only for telecom sector in most of the sector it has been launched and it will be effective from 1st april 2021 in the telecom sector in the next 5 years in the next 5 years under the scheme to enhance uh, there is a agenda to boost the production by 2.4 lakh crores to boost the production by 2.4 lakh crores next so the indian navy has joined the iran russia maritime security belt 2021 the exercise has been organized in which region so india iran russia they have jointly organized an exercise and this exercise was organized or this exercise was conducted or it this exercise was held in which uh, in which region then the answer will be it was held in indian ocean it was held in indian ocean and remember that uh, the new member of indian ocean rim new member of rim is france do remember the 23rd member of rim the 23rd member of rim is france that's also important next question uh, so india iran russia and china will also join this exercise in indian ocean as per the nomura india's gdp will grow at what percent in financial year 2022 nomura is a japanese financial company and recently this japanese financial company estimated that indian economy will grow by 13.5% in the upcoming financial year that is 2021 2022 and if we talk about the current financial year according to this organization india's current financial year india gdp in the current financial year will contract by 6.7% contract by 6.7% if we talk about 10.5% 10.5% was the estimation given by rbi if i am not wrong if i am not wrong uh, imf gave the estimate of 11.5% or 11% or 11% what will be your answer yes if we talk about snp SNP gave the estimation of ten percent. That's correct. What about IMF guys? What about IMF? IMF given eleven point five percent. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Any other organization? If you remember any other organization which has given the estimates, what will be your answers? Any other organization given the estimate for the upcoming financial year GDP growth estimates for the country? Ten point five RBI has done. Eleven point five IMF has done. uh 10% snp is done uh then 6.7% for this year nomura is done next year 13.5% is done very good chaps next question 
So which of the following organization developed e-chavni and mobile application? So which of the following organization developed e-chavni and mobile application which was launched by uh, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh ji? This was developed by, this was developed by, what will be the answer? This was developed by e-government foundation. Bharat Electronics Limited, National Informatics Center, and Directorate of General Defense Estates. So that means it is developed by all of the above. It is developed by all of the above. So this particular uh, application and each army is developed by all of the organization. The portal will be helpful for the 20 lakh residents of 62 contentment or contentment. Uh, board across the country. Do remember that. Next question. Sir, who among the following is appointed? I'm really very sorry for the repetition. Next question. Okay, let's talk about the uh, appointment. So we have an appointment that is Darshan. He is an actor and he is appointed as the Agriculture Ambassador of Department of Karnataka by the State Government. Chair, uh, Chief Minister of Karnataka is B.S. Yadirappa. And if you talk about the governor, it's Vajubhai, it's Vajubhai, Rudabhai Wala. Vajubhai, Rudabhai Wala. Do remember that. Then we have T. Sondu, T. Sondarajan is appointed as the uh, additional charge of Lieutenant Governor of Punducherry. Hima Das, she is a sprinter. She is a sprinter. That means she is an athlete. She is a racer, sprinter. Is appointed as the Deputy Superintendent of Police by Assam. She is also known as, she is also known as Dhrind Express. She is also known as Dhrind Express. She is given this title of, she is given the title of uh, Ding Express. Ding Express because of her uh, speed and all. So remember the Chief Minister of Assam is Sarbananda Sonowal and the Governor of Assam is Professor Jagdish Mukhi. Next appointment is Usha Rao Monari. Usha Rao Monari is appointed as the Under Secretary General and Associate Administrator of the United Nations Development Program. She has replaced Murad Baba. She has replaced Murad Baba. Okay. Next we have Georgi Gakharia. Georgi Gakharia, he has announced the resignation to be the Prime Minister of Georgia. That is why he was in news. Then we have Francois Fav too. He is South Africa cricket player who has announced his retirement from test cricket. Who has announced his retirement for test cricket. Next question. Which financial institution which financial institution will provide 100 crore rupees to Medanta to support India to tackle COVID-19 pandemic. So Medanta is one of the uh, I would say one of the one of the largest healthcare service provider in the country and Medanta has been given a loan of a financial assistance of 100 crore rupees by ADB Asian Development Bank and so that so that Medanta can uh, improve or Medanta can perform in a better way or perform in a well equipped way so that they can handle the COVID-19 spread in the country. Medanta headquarters is in Gurugram Haryana and the headquarter of ADB is in Manila, Philippines and the president of ADB is Masatusuku Asakawa, vice president is Ashok Lavasa. Recently, India signed MOU with which country for enhancing partnership in civil space activities. So for civil space activities, India has signed this particular, India has signed this particular agreement. India has signed a particular agreement with which of the following countries. So wooden Satellite 2024 will be launched by Japan. Recently, US launched its fifth rover on Mars, and that rover has landed successfully on Mars. Then remember, uh, the tie up the tie up is done with Australia. The tie up is done with Australia. So India and Australia they have tied up for the civil space activities and remember that capital of australia currency of australia isro headquarter and chairman of isro these three things are very important next who among the following who among the following launched mahabahu brahmaputra program mahabahu 
Brahmapatra program has been launched by whom among the following? So this per particular program, yes, first, I would not say first, I'll say uh, Diksha, I'll say largest or the largest radio telescope will be set up in Australia and Africa. World's largest, world's largest uh, radio telescope set up in Aust will be set up in Australia and Africa. And the answer for this is Modi ji. And the answer for this is Modi ji. So Narendra Modi ji has launched this uh, Mahabhu Mahabhu Brahmaputra. Two bridges in Assam. First bridge, first bridge is four lane bridge over the Brahmaputra between Dubri and Fulbari, which is the which will be the longest bridge of the country. Second, we have two lane bridge on Brahmaputra between Majuli and Jorat. So remember about Mahabu Brahmaputra program under this, under this, on the river Brahmaputra, on the river Brahmaputra, four lane bridge, which will be India's longest bridge, will be uh, set up, will be constructed with an outlay of almost 5,000 crore rupees. Along with that, remember, uh, there are some many more, uh, mea, there are many more programs which are launched. The first in, uh, initiative under the program is ROPAC service will be initiated. Permanent inland water terminal at Jogi Gopa and construction of tourist jetties and construction of tourist jetties. So these three initiatives will be taken along with that bridge construction, two bridge construction on Brahmaputra, one of which is the longest bridge in terms of length in the country and it will connect Assam to Meghalaya. It will connect Assam to Meghalaya. Uh, for your upcoming examination for RBI, at least, at least, at least, at least last six months, at least last six months, that too, that too, in well-detailed manner, in well-detailed manner, you should go with at least last six months of current events. Okay. Next question, guys. The next question we have, with which institution Acer Oil and Gas Exploration and Production Limited signed MOU to perform various coal bed methane technology innovations? So for the methane technology innovations, recently Acer, Acer Oil and Gas Exploration and Production Limited signed an agreement with IIT Dhanbad. Signed an agreement with IIT Dhanbad for this particular research program. Remember the headquarter of Acer Oil is in Mumbai. That's very, very, very important. Next question. So which city received recognition as 2020 Tree City of the World by United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization and Arbor Day Foundation? This is the same city which was on the first rank, which was on the first rank in terms of Indian cities, first rank out of the Indian cities, which is most surveillance city most surveillance city all, all over the world the city was in on 16th rank this city is on the 16th rank in terms of most surveillance most surveillance city with the help of cctv cameras then the answer will be hyderabad then the answer will be hyderabad is it clear guys next so the next question we have okay so these were the few questions for your weekly session guys. I hope each and every term which I have discussed with you were crystal clear. And I have discussed only important questions. I have not discussed all the questions. I have just discussed the important questions with you. And I have discussed them in detail, in detail so that so that you can so that you can answer all the questions in your upcoming examination. So that will be all guys and noted down. From next week onwards, I will be taking a weekly session on Saturdays and I will be taking a daily session on the burning issues, on the important issues uh, on your grade up or on the YT channel. Okay, so do stay tuned with this daily session, which is going to be very important. And Saturday session is obviously it's important for you, undoubtedly. Uh, for IBPS clerk, at least last four months, at least last four months. Okay, Chalo. so that will be all guys. That will be huh, very soon, very soon. I will be coming up with the... Uh, GK Tornado for your upcoming examination. Don't worry. Very soon we will be coming up with the GK Tornado for your upcoming examination. So there is nothing to worry. Fine guys. So that will be all from my side guys in this particular session. We'll catch you all soon. Till then stay home, stay safe and take care. And take care. Thank you guys.
Rep smarts go better, go great up. So those who are watching my session on YouTube, I request them to please like and share the session. And those who are watching my session on the grid up application, I request them to please rate the session. If you enjoy the session, do rate it accordingly. Do rate it accordingly. If you enjoy the session, do rate it accordingly. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye.